Okay, so welcome to today's section. In today's section, you're going to learn how to create a global ad account from scratch unedited, all right? So let's get started immediately. Now, before I start, please do not forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on content like this. Now, in this particular channel, I teach anything related to business, sales and marketing, and, and social media growth, all right? So if you're a business owner and you're ready to scale your business, then this is the right channel. And if you're actually someone who is looking to learn a digital skills that they can monetize from, then this is also the channel for you. And don't also forget to hit on the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I drop video. And um, I also want you to comment down on this video what you think about um, about the way the Google Ad account has been created. So without further ado, let's, let's start this section. So first and first, I believe you can see my screen now, all right? So I'm just going to open another tab entirely, all right? So for you to be able to create your Google Ad account, enter your search button and you want to type ads. It does not have to be in capital letter, all right? Ads dot google.com all right and then click on enter so this is what is going to appear now as of as of today all right google is still offering you know a 300 dollar bonus credit which means when you open a google ad account hmm, and you spend up to 300 dollars within 30 days you have access to 300 like they are going to give you 300 dollar bonus i actually have a client who is actually enjoying this and also some of my clients have actually um gained access to this bonus all right so it's something that you, you need to take notes notice of so once you create your google ad account you know you can start creating your campaign and then make sure that you are able to spend 300 dollars within 30 days all right so now if you notice this particular account, we created it in the last video. Now, if you have actually um, watched my former video, how I created a Gmail account from scratch unedited, you definitely know that this particular account was created from scratch, all right? So for you to be able to open your Google ad account, you either, you either need a brand new Gmail account. Now you can also use your old Gmail account, but sometimes when you use it, you don't know that Google has actually created an account, like a Google ad account for you automatically. So you might end up using the already created one by Google. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that you don't know how long that account has been and you don't know how it was created. It can be created using the organizational information and then they'll be charging you more you get so you cannot really tell that's why it's good the moment you click on ad.google.com and then it takes you to another section that is not here just know that google has already created an account under your name without you knowing and yes you can do this with your smartphone all right all you just need to do is to put your smartphone enter your chrome browser and put your chrome browser on desktop mode you still be seeing the same thing now, if I don't want to use this particular Gmail account, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to either sign out or create a new um, Google Ad account using a different Gmail, all right? So because I've actually have not created any Google Ad account with this particular account, I'm going to click on Start Now. So let's go. Start now. All right, so the moment you click on start now, this is going to appear. Create your first campaign in few, in few simple steps. Now, what Google wants you to do is to head on and start creating your campaign, which is wrong, do not do it, all right? If you do it, like it's totally wrong. First of all, you have not set up a lot of things like conversion tracking. You have not even done your research. You have not even 
you know, study your keywords to know, okay, this is how much I'm using for my campaign. So if you follow this method, you're actually going to be burning money. You will burn a lot of money, all right? You burn a lot of money and you will not get results. That's just it. So what you want to do is you want to act as a professional ad expert, all right? So as, a, as an ad expert, as a global ad specialist, definitely you know that this is the wrong step. You cannot start creating your first campaign. That's horribly wrong. So what do, you, what do you want to do? You want to click on skip campaign creation. So it's going to bring you here. Now, this is you creating an account without creating a campaign immediately. Google is smart. And of course, they want to make money every which way. So I won't actually blame them. So that's other place where they say create your first campaign. It's actually for newbies. If you don't know, you create your campaign and you blow money and then you start complaining that Google does not give results. It does give results. You just don't know how it works. You get, and that's why videos like this are very, very important for you to learn from. So first thing first, if you notice the billing is in Nigeria. So let's say if you are in Uganda, Ghana, or even in the United States, you can choose to change the billing location to your location, all right? So, the, you might be asking how were they, like how were they able to pick this country out for me? It is from my Gmail, all right? So from my Gmail, they can detect where um what's it called? They can detect they can detect where I stay, location, every every, even from the number I'm going to put in the Gmail, you know, all those things. And it is the Gmail that Google uses to you know generate leads for you, connect the right audience for you. So you want to be sure that the time zone is correct, which is JMT plus one, right? That's Nigerian time zone. Then the currency, you do not want to change this to Naira, all right? Before you can change it to Naira and run out the Naira, but you can't do that anymore. So you want to leave it at dollar, which means you'll be converting your Naira to dollar, all right? So the moment you have actually got into this section, you click on continue, all right? Awesome. So it's going to bring you to this section. You see, it's still talking about the $300 bonus. Spend $300, get $300 offer will be applied following successful billing setup. They receive, so receive $300 in credit. You must meet all the eligibility requirements, e.g. be a new or currently inactive advertiser, all right? And spend $300 by August 24th. All right, so what they are trying to tell me is I have 30 days. Okay, so this is already June 24, if I'm not mistaken. So I have from now till July, August 24. Okay, that's even 60 days, if I'm not mistaken, which is actually very, very cool, all right? So you can study more about the terms and conditions, but once you're able to spend this amount within 30 days or within 60 days, like they mentioned here, you will definitely get this bonus. I have a lot of clients who are actually benefiting from this $300 bonus, and it's really awesome. That is going to bring you to a, a payment profile. And now in this payment profile, what do you want to do? You want to create a new payment profile, like the particular profile you're going to be using to make payments every single day or every single week or every single month in your Google Ad account. And there's something I want you to know. When you're creating your Google Ad account, you do not want to fund more than, in fact, don't fund up to $50. Once you do that, you'll be banned. Reason being that your account is new. So Google is sensitive. And when you fund higher amount, they will start, you know, they will start um, spying on you. And the first way they are going to fight you is using suspension or ban to come after you because they'll be like, this person's account is new. So why will you be using huge amount of money? in this so, so so new account, all right? So it's very, very important for you to take notice of that. All right, so you click on this plus icon and then you want to change this organization setting, all right? You want to change it to individual. So it's very important, reason being that this um, individual, it shows that you are the one in charge of your account and then the information that you need for your verification later on, it's something that is going to be easy that you can actually provide. If you click, if you leave it at organization, the details Google will be asking you. You might have it, but you don't have to go through that long process. And of course, individual has their own benefits. You don't get charged 
as high as organizations are charged. That's just it, right? So then you can now put in your street address. So um, I'm kind of looking for for the street. Ad this is actually my gray account details. So I will not use it. I'm going to use um. Right. There'll be like okay, it's beginning to appear and then sitting. Will be and then poster code. Um let me search for it here. So your poster code is something you can search for, right? I can I've forgotten. I think it's zero zero something. Abuja postal code, yeah. So let's say you stay in a particular state, all right? So there's one, and this is the one I use. This is the one I use. 00217. Or you can even go further to mention your city, like it's something you can do, Dubai Abuja postal code. Okay, 00107. All right, this is it. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to come back to my Google Ad account and I'm going to paste it here. That's what I'll do. Awesome. So for the states, it's actually Abuja, Abuja or FCT, all right, Federal Capital Territory. And this is it. And I'm going to click on Create, okay? So once I'm, once, awesome. So this is it the individual payment profile has been created. So Google is going to always identify this person as the person paying for this Google Ad account, all right? Then the next thing you want to add is your payment method, all right? So when you're running ad on Google, especially if you're running ad like in an African country, you actually need to have a dollar card. It's very important. Your dollar card is very important. So you can either use um, cheaper cash, or you can use payday, you can also use gray. Yeah, you can. But I normally use cheaper cash, reason being that it is Nigerian based and then location is based in Nigeria so that it saves you from too much um, queries and questions from Google. That's why I stopped using my gray card. So now the cheaper cash, I have the card already. If you want me to create a video on how to create a domestic card using cheaper, all you just have to do is to comment that under this video and I'll create one for you. So I'm just going to put in my code now to make um, payment, all those things. So that's what I'm going to do. So four, seven. All right, so you can either tick billing address being the same with this card information. Now, if it's not the same, all you just have to do is uncheck this and another billing section will open, all right? But it's the same, all right? So I'm going to click on save card. Google is going to save this card and then, yeah, so Google is going to save this card and then we can, Go further, we've already added our payment method. Now, the next thing you want to do is to add your, your amount, okay? So as you can see, let me first of all cancel this. So as you can see, you will see a temporary $10 authorization on your card, which is typically removed within a week. So what is it, what it's trying to say is that, when you want to open this Google Ad account, you must fund it with at least $10 and above. And then sometimes this thing can be in automatic. So once it's in automatic, you need to change it to manual payments. Please take note. Manual payment means that you are the one paying for your card and you pay. Like when your when your fund finishes, hmm? 
Google does not go further to be charging your card. Once your phone finishes, is either they tell you that your ad your ad spend is reducing or it is it is um the budget is low, fund more, or they pause the ad automatically for you. Or they suspend your account because if you refuse to either post your campaign or fund more, they suspend it. But if you're going for automatic, Google will be charging directly from your card. So it's something that um is something that you need to take note of. And then another thing again is they for automatic, they have a particular amount that they want you to be funding on your Google ad account. So you don't have control over automatic, but you have control over manual. And then the list you can start with in your manual is $10. And then you click on continue. Once you click on continue, now you're going to scroll down. Look at do you want personalized guidance from a Google ad expert by your phone or messaging app? What it means is that they'll be sending you personalized messages, things like that. So I usually go with no, all right, because all, all these things, you don't really need them because you still have to have a Google ad specialist close to you to put you through. But if you want, you can put yes. It's just articles related to Google ad emails, you know, things like that. And then once you are through, click on submit. And automatically, your Google Ad account will be created. Now, you'll be debited $10 once this account has been created. The money is going to appear in your, in your billing, all right? It's going to appear there. Awesome. So your account is all set, and we are good to go. So all I'm just going to do is to click on Continue to my account. So this is how it's going to be looking like, all right? So this is how everything is going to look like. So we'll be going further into so many things, yeah? So all you just need to do is to stay tuned to this particular channel so that you don't miss out. Now, this is the billing setup. Awesome. So now the reason why you are seeing 000 is because the card, like the particular card I used to fund, there is no money in it, all right? I recently fund like one of my clients' Google Ad account. So the, the particular card is empty. So that's why you're seeing 00. Now, if there was money in it, they will just debit it and it will appear here. If it doesn't appear here, it's going to appear here. And if it does not appear immediately, it will definitely appear within 24 to 48 hours. Now, there's one thing I want you to know. Google also have a VAT tax, and the VAT tax varies, all right? They can charge you $0.07, cents, $5, $3, or even $10. So in case it appears and then you're seeing balance of $7, it's something cents, they're already taking away their tax. It's very, very important. So I will be doing more with this particular account. Yeah, I'll be doing more with it. And um, this is it. We are done. Our Google Ad account has been created successfully and we can go further to do other things. So this is it for this particular video. Thank you for watching from the beginning to the end. Now, do not forget, if you like this video, I want you to give it a thumbs up and I also want you to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on anything related to money, finance, business growth and social media growth. All right. So don't forget to also share this video. I mean, if it's that impactful to you, if it's that valuable, share it. Share it to your friends. Let them know how to create a Google Ad account from scratch. It will help them, all right? So see you in the next video. Thank you.